I think that is because we have the phone there, but don't worry. I'm seeing you. You stay right there. All right, no problem. Me? We're getting the message across. Yes, I'm hearing yes, you wonderfully, yes, yes. brother. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Let me get this here. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, well, good evening and uh, good afternoon, uh, wherever you are in the world. And of course, you can also catch us on replay on YouTube. Actually, I should have set up my Instagram as well because some people are gonna come in by Instagram. So I'm gonna do that while I'm there setting this up. But um, tonight, as you can see, I've got the, the man of fire, Mr. Daniel uh, Bozra. I think what I wanted to do was just to come on tonight because I was going to come on tonight, but there's a breaking news or something which is happening in Jamaica there now, and it's all relating to COVID-19. Um, but it is regarding this young uh, this lady, this pregnant lady, who went to the hospital, and as a result of that, um, she died. She went to the hospital for help, and, and she died. Her name, we must immortalize her name. Her name is Jody Ferrot. Jody Ferrot. Yeah, Jody Ferrot. Now we're gonna we're gonna come to that, but I'm just setting the stage here because that you got the information. I'm in the UK here, and I'm just trying to get some bits, and a few persons are gonna come on as well and give them their views. Mm -hmm. But it's very concerning, mm -hmm. and I want to speak to Daniel about it. But most importantly, as well, we're gonna touch on something about mask as well, some of the developments regarding mask. But first of all, I want to just touch base on this. Um, Daniel, um, how are you, boss? I am wonderful, you? you know, I'm here in my tropical paradise, enjoying the fact that we are alive. Yes, yes, yes. And, um, you know, as you have been talking, uh, we, we have been speaking about this um, situation with this um, young lady. Uh, can yes. you give me a breakdown of from your perspective? Okay. Um, Jodie Ferron, immortalized. Jody Ferron. We miss her. Right. Um, no, the recent graduate of the University of the West Indies, um, she's 23 years old. She got, she is pregnant. Um, she was in labor. Mm. She had already prepaid up about 4,000 US dollars to the hospital and to the doctor for her to deliver her baby at that hospital, Andrews right. Memorial on Hope Road. When she yes. went there, and while she was there and being prepared, um, it was, they said she, dis, she, dis, she displayed COVID-19 like symptoms. Now this is scary because how does one differentiate COVID-19 like symptoms from yes. the common flu or a cold or an avian flu or an H1N1? How do you differentiate yes. it to say it's COVID-19 like symptoms? Yes. And as such, based on the fear and the ignorance that has been bred in the global populace, she was turned away from the hospital, even though she had already paid. Two other government hospitals rejected her, and she and her yes. child died. Three hospitals in Jamaica rejected a new life. This is a child. I, I mean, I could understand if I didn't need them reject. Probably, you know, but this is a woman in labor. In labor. So yes. that says something. It, the, the, these people are, have actually made the gunmen who are doing the arbitrary killings. Their actions look... Um... Jesus like. Yes. Compared, when you compare to gunmen to what has happened, the gunmen have an issue with a man and an angry and a rabbit. We can't see why I'm killing. All right. Yes. May not agree, but compared to what they did, you go to a hospital, a place of healing, and they turned you back from three. It has shown the medical fraternity and the hospital system and the health system to have demonstrated worse displays of this disdain for human life than the gunmen who have been doing the killings. And and um, this, which which are the different hospitals? The first one I understand she went to was a, a private Andrews hospital. Memorial. Which was Andrews, yes. And then they and then wouldn't she take was her away from, yeah. from from the other two major hospitals in Kingston, from 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 um, the University of the West Indies, and from yeah. um, Kingston Public. Yes, you can actually see but, the image. You're on Hope Road, and and the hospital on Hope Road. Tell you, you just keep driving up Hope Road, then, and you went to UA. And then said, no, I had turn go down old hope road and shot go down to town and still get turned back. I can just oh that, well, well listen, listen. It, it's um, unbelieving that we yeah. it could be any one of us in a Silburn. Silburn, yeah. you could have been here with your family. 
Mm. And it could have been something. Means it's something. It could have been your auntie, your granny, your family, where you live, but it could have been any one of us. Yeah. That's the detriment. Well, listen, let me let me just play something here. Yeah. I'm gonna play something here for persons who don't know. Let me just play this brief um video, which I see if I can actually get it on to show people about this whole incident here. Just I think it's from CVN or so. Let me just do something. If I can't do it, just just love it. If anything like that, um, no, I'm seeing you and me again. No, I see you and me. Let me see enough for you and me already. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you see, every, I see you running all these different jokes. I'm trying to trying to get used to some of these jokes that you're running and stuff like that. Um, I got I got people people sending me all of these jokes which you're you're sending. Come on. But but uh, even though at the same time, say you and the, the, the stuff that you and your children do, it, it, it thrills us. <laughs> We enjoy it. It's a wonderful examples of, of fathers being just a doofus for his children. I'll be a doofus for your kids or my kids anytime. It's an example yes, of yes. how we must be with our children. That's how we grow. Your, ex your son can't get any of my daughter but I'm a good father. <laughs> All right. I think I think you're hearing in the background. Okay, let me just let me just play this video. I think I got it here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our reporter Kirk Knight has been tracking that story and now has the details. The patient, you know what? And her gynecologist was called. Ryan Shadow Moore. You know what? Let me just leave that. Let me just leave that virgin because you, you got more information than that. So let me just leave. Let me just leave that one there, um, yeah. Daniel. All right. No um, let, me just, let me just leave that. Let me just leave that. Yeah, let's run with it. Let's run with it. Okay. Very concerning information. Very concerning thing. COVID-like symptoms. Boy, I tell you, people are scared to cough these days. Mm. They you don't know? know where to cough or sneeze. Yes. And that is a scary thing. In, we saw in Jamaica where people, a man get caught. Woman and people in a bus beat a man because him cough. No, can you imagine me as a cannabis mm. user? It goes with it. So I could just take a draw. <coughs> and people who beat me and kill me out of fear yeah. and ignorance. Because it is an ignorance. Yeah. It is, what, what, it is what, what, a test. Yeah. The, the present scare in the world is a testament. Yeah. Is that let's, testament let's, that, let's, let's, yeah, go on, go on. I'm listening. I was just saying it's a testament to there needs to be a serious um improvement in our chemistry and, and biology uh curriculum. Because mm. these should have been basic understandings of what a virus is, how a virus lives, travels, and is transferred or and or created. You understand? So it's yeah. a testament to the failures within our education system that so many of us can be deceived. Okay, let's let's break this down. Also, Jodian, pregnant, went to the hospital where she paid money down. I think you said um, because normally a lady is attached to hospital if they are going through the whole process. So she went to Andrew's Memorial, which is the one that she went to. Um, then say University of the West Indies refused her. I think they say you will refuse her first. That's what I understand. Mm -hmm. Two hospitals refused her. Because out of fear. No, you're gone. It's a hospital. Where else do you go? Yes. Doctor took her to the Andrews. The nurses at Andrews were convinced that she had COVID-19. Demanded that she be removed from their facility because some 20 newborns were on the ward as well as new mothers. Nurses said they were not pleased that doctors have so much power. Andrews is not prepared to accept people with COVID-19. So the blame game has gone right back to you. Right? And and then what what I'm understanding as well, there has been some sort of um, deal with Andrews Memorial Hospital now board to accept COVID nineteen. Government has signed a memorandum of understanding with Andrews Memorial Hospital on Hope Road to serve as an overflow ward for the Kingston Public Hospital. Now, with, so what we are seeing now, we got this young lady who actually went there with all good intention to have her baby, and where she went to, which is a hospital which is the place that she should go, 
turned away. <laughs> right? Turned away to the point so, where she, she dead. She dead. Mm. This should not happen. I mean, this is the knee-jerk reactionary things that we see happening. This is this is the failures of leadership of coming from both our political parties ever since independence because it's knee-jerk. Because now they have signed a memorandum of understanding. With all the press conferences, the Minister of Health and all these people were doing, and the Prime Minister were doing, and, and the, 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 uh, the Chief Medical Officer, no one yeah. thought that all the... So here in Mandeville, in, in, in Manchester, there is there's the Hargreaves Memorial and there is the Mandeville Hospital. So it means that if someone goes to have a baby at Hargreaves and display COVID-19 like symptoms, as has <coughs> as been said, Hargreaves and Truro, because the government has not yet... I thought that would have been an understanding across the board. If it's a national pandemic, you're locking down the country. People have to be inside by six and everybody has to wear a mask. So with all of that dramatic action, why wasn't the simple dramatic action would have been understood that the hospitals in a national pandemic, a national epidemic and a global pandemic, the hospitals are supposed to take in anybody as opposed to have assigned treatment space for this particular illness since it's a global pandemic. Is now after the young lady dead, in retrospect, knee jerk reaction, they're going to seek and sign memorandums of understanding. That should have been a phone call coming out of the ministry yeah. before you even decide to lock down the country. Yeah, I, I, I think, in all fairness, um, the about turn for Andrews, that was, let me see the date of this. This is April 10, 2020. So it is something which has already been in the making already. Um, so that apart of that. Andrews, if, that means Andrews is an error then for turning her back. Andrews is an error to turn him back. But what they are trying to justify it is by the fact that they have got, they have, they have heard the cough, they have heard the different symptoms or whatever like that, assumed it is COVID, and as a result of that, turn away this young lady with her child, results into her death. And now, what I'm understanding, I've just been doing some research, and you know, that she's come back negative. So, Virgin, the murder that star. To come back negative, I, I got the information early. That's the first thing that I wake up this morning. Into. I ping in my phone and I check a medical practitioner who I know very well, having studied together, passed on that information and said, look here, Daniel, to test it negative. Yes. Straight. Yes, yes. You know, it's... It, and what, I, what, what is dangerous is that... Is that um, this thing has a, um, it's killed, it, it has infected 300 Jamaicans. That's 0 0.001, 0 0.001% or less than that of the population. That's, that's not COVID. epidemic. That's not epidemic numbers. Uh. It has killed five or six people. That is, that is, that is, that is a 0 0.025 something, three zeros and two five. Um, death rate, insignificant. More people have died. More people died yesterday alone uh, from compli in Jamaica from from complications from um, diabetes. Yeah, but but so it but, means that mm. this this follows. You set a set of parameters as to what is epidemic pandemic, and then you have totally thrown them aside, and it's forcing us to imprison ourselves in our homes based on what you want. Because it's, it, 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 you can't set a set of rules and say this is what defines an epidemic or a pandemic. These are the yeah. parameters and these are the figures, these are the percentages. And then I see something come up which is way below every one of them. Yes. Something is not right. Yeah. Um in 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 looking at a, a balancing aspect, okay, in the UK here, um we started the war, well not we started the the whole virus came in and it started to expand. Uh Many people are not tested, but except the, the, the um, frontline staff, which are not being tested. I'm of the view that whatever figure, they cannot tell you in the UK how many people ha have COVID. You know, like how Jamaica is saying 300 and something, but in the UK, mm -hmm. there's no figure as to that. Lots of people, I believe I've not had COVID in about three, four weeks ago. A virgin of mine said he think he had it three times. No, <laughs> but you remember that flu that gave around in December, November, December, everybody everywhere had some had knew somebody who had this flu that put them down for for for, 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 for days. Yes. And took a while to get over. And even yeah. when them get up back on them feet, it was still lingering, lingering, and they had the 
remember this thing broke out from way in November in a somewhere else. Yes. This and then here's the thing that is scary. Have you ever seen a pandemic with two names? Yeah, one start start off with corona, isn't it? How is it what, coronavirus and COVID nineteen? Which is it? Because there mm. are multiplicity over fifty coronaviruses, and then there yeah. is the COVID nineteen, which has been proven to be, and which which COVID nineteen really is SARS COVID two. The first yeah. SARS virus is SARS COVID one. Mm. So it is clearly a SARS virus. There's lots they're not telling you, lots, mm. just as much as you must understand what we're dealing with to say why would they do that. Why would they have told our grandparents that coconut oil was high cholesterol and forced mm. them to use soy and vegetable oil that gave them multiplicity of cancers and illnesses? They think, did it, and the medical fraternity sh stayed silent. Yes, yes. I, I think one of the things um, one tend to acknowledge and recognize is that um, this virus whether it's COVID or Corona, is deemed to be very dangerous and is killing people. In the UK so far, the figure I believe of today is 20,000. Now, at the same time, why do they say 20,000? Many people I'm question... Say something. Yeah. No, but may I remove... I am going to remove one out of that 20,000 for you right now. There is a yes. friend of mine, lived in England. He's a Jamaican. He's back home, living in Montego Bay. He has no problem with me calling yeah. his name. You can check him out on Facebook. He posted it. His name is Alan Parrish. Now, Alan, A-L-A-N, Alan Parrish. Now, Alan's yeah. mother died a couple of weeks ago in England. Yeah. I remember calling him the day I met him had a hard, hard talk. I said, brother, I know I got really. Only for me to see Alan post a couple of days ago that his sister calls him from England. They knew that their mother died in England from complications from the Alzheimer's that she has been suffering with. Yet still, yeah. on the mother's death certificate, it said COVID-19. And Alan, Alan is raging here in Jamaica. Yeah. Go and check out his Facebook page. Alan Parrish, he posted it. That's one out yeah. of the 20,000. So it's not 20,000, it's 19,000 I had. I'm going to just remove that well, one. Well, well, I, I don't I don't disbelieve that because that's what many people are actually saying is that they are, you know, the death certificates or whatever is saying COVID when people went in there no, for something. Yeah. Something else, Silburn, social yeah. scientist, teaches you one of the things it teaches you is how to extrapolate information from the numbers and get some clarity. Now, normally, if you check the death rate, we did this in America, and we found it to be so. I'm sure some scientists, we have young scientists doing it in England now. And we said to anybody, do it. Take, go and look at the monthly death rates from various illnesses prior to the COVID-19 explosion, right? And you'll find that there was 10,000 people dead from heart attack. Yeah. Now, all of a sudden, it's only 6,000 people dead from heart attack. And there's this jump of 4,000 more people having COVID-19. They are transferring the deaths. And it is being made obvious if you look at the death rate pattern yeah. for the various other illnesses. All of the other illnesses, their death rates have been reduced. That is a lie and a scam. <clears throat> mm, mm. You can't argue with that, you know, because it is there. Yeah. It's in the public record. Yes. Up to January, up to December, up to up to up to, up to January, December and January, X amount of people were dying monthly of particular sicknesses following a, a rate. And then all of a sudden, when this COVID-19 pop up, the death rate of COVID-19 soar rapidly and the death rate of the other illnesses have been drastically reduced with a mathematical that. correlation in the numbers, then just a reassign the debts. And, and and it's interesting what you said earlier about the, the fear factor, the fear factor just which is which is being pushed around that makes this lady make people now. I know people even feared, scared of going into hospital. You know? And and this this fear factor which is going on. They it, make it, us up we, we spread over one another. Yeah. Most people turn back their mothers right now to come on them house and cough. Listen what they have done. Most people would turn back, would turn out their mothers from their homes if she turns up at their door, coughing and sneezing with mucus in her system. Yes, that's what they have done. Do you do you think do you think this is being handled 
the wrong way by the Jamaican government or, or the world in a sense because everybody's sort of following a particular right, country. Let's, countries let's like start with the Jamaican government. Yeah. yeah. Irresp this is what's supposed to happen. If it's a pandemic, right, a global issue, it means that you're supposed to, everybody's trying to find a cure for it, right? So you have not set sent for tissue cultures of this virus. So we can have it. Our scientists can have it here to be working. You're not playing a role. Your information, since you have not done that, it means your information on this virus is third hand. And you are now subjecting 2.8 million people to unvalidated yes. third hand information from those who you have deemed superior while the people elected you to represent their interests, not those other people that you're, 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 you're passing on the information from. If yes. you're a truly sovereign government, a solid government in a crisis like this, so we need to have our own expertise on it. Because I'm sure Britain has theirs, and all the other countries have theirs, but Jamaica is listening to what somebody else said. Mm. That name monkey see, monkey do. Mm, mm, mm. So, so therefore now, this young lady now is a victim of the foolishness. I, I call it that way, the, the foolishness, if anything. She's a victim the of the scam and the victim because a the nurses or the people at the respective hospital scared maybe not for their not for their patients but maybe for their own life for themselves you know but and because you have you have you have raised up that fear so the people are actually afraid for themselves yeah yeah it it, it is a sad it's a sad situation and uh, and lots of people are are talking about this. Um, this young lady, many people are crying, many people are really um, disappointed, many people are in anguish because they are just putting that lady as a sister, as a mother, as a friend, that it can happen whereby you go in there with a cough. Come on, at the end of the day, Daniel, listen, Jeez, everybody's still a cough. People, people are no, coughing from you before. Look at no, but <laughs> it's a spring, it's a spring, it is spring, the amount of pollen. Yes. A we carry it outside and show, sure, you know, every tree blossom, pear tree blossom, mango tree blossom, every tree blossom. Yeah. So pollen of pollen of fly a spring now. Everywhere in the world, every and anybody is subject to coughing and sneezing because pollen in the air. Wow, wow, wow. And and now we talk about pollen now, and we jump right over into what is now mandatory, which is the mask. Which is setting you up again because if you're wearing a mask, it means that you're generally breathing in by majority um, carbon dioxide mm. that you have passed out. So progressively with each breath, the oxygen content of your ear becomes less. It's more carbon um, dioxide. That is going to inevitably lead to respiratory distress. You see, they've set it. It's obviously that the medical doctors are, are, are clearly prepared to sit down silently and allow the people to be set up for death. Right. Put so on any ask anyone to put on a mask for half an hour and see what happens to them. I must, I must say, you, yeah, I must say you posted something, and I, I'm looking at it here. No mask from a doctor, Judy Mikovits. Um, I, I just read what you said, what what the what the person said. The mask in stores and on walks outside and while driving your car is mind blowing to me. Do you not know? how unhealthy it is to keep inhaling your carbon dioxide and restricting proper oxygen flow. Now, when I saw this, when I saw this, I actually went out today to get um, whoop, whoop, my hardware bread. There's like a factory which I know I get, uh, it's a secret factory that I know in a virgin. I forget the origin. You stush Jamaicans, you stush Jamaicans. Yeah, I, I go and collect my hardware bread, you know? But I put on, yes. the, mask, I put on the mask today and consciously, I was thinking that as I keep breathing in and out, breathing in and out, I was saying to myself, hang on a second, I'm just breathing in and out the same thing, mm -hmm. same carbon dioxide. And when I saw your bit there restricting proper oxygen flow, and that's just one, just one. Another guy was talking about people are not going outside. I mean, it's like the sun is so hot in the UK, people are not going outside, isn't there vitamin D, Daniel? Sure. If the sun is so hot and then claims the heat kill this thing, where is it? Where is it? it, it, it in Jamaica? It, 
Oh God, if I go outside right now, I start sweat. I go back under a tree or come back under the shoes. None of it makes sense. Yes. If we are, it's almost you're being asked to suspend your own intelligence. Yes. Just don't, 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 don't think. Don't think. Don't yeah. think. Just well, well, listen to us. So well, someone said it depends on the mask you're wearing still at the same time. You know, that, that's, that's why I think some of them have these filter things and blah, blah, blah. But uh, let's acknowledge the fact, though, at the same time that the masks play a fundamental role because I believe in Jamaica now it is deemed to be mandatory. Is it that you'll get arrested and get locked up if you don't uh, wear a mask? I, 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 no, because do? I've seen people on the streets. I, went, I go on the streets without a mask. And nobody not doing see them up the park. Police, nobody does not to me arrest you for what because uh, this this is what these are the technicalities that we are the fear is allowing us to give up our human rights now one of the fundamental things one must remember is in jamaica yeah. for example that has a constitution somehow i don't even understand it because britain doesn't have a constitution so we don't understand how britain got a precedence of an example to create a constitution for jamaica but so be it mm. um um it is understood that any act or statute that contravenes the, any 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 of the um the constitution. The constitution takes precedence over that act. Mm -hmm. So this the, the Jamaicans are being told to lock down based on a, a post a post independent colonial act, 1940 or something act before independence. But that mm -hmm. act contravenes the present constitution. So that but, act. But, <laughs> Is superseded right. by the constitutional right. So when the Prime Minister turned back Jamaicans, he violated a section of the constitution that gives every Jamaican a right to enter into Jamaica. Mm. The Prime Minister of Jamaica and the Parliament are, are, are liable and subject to constitutional court, which yes. is free. They violated the constitution. But isn't it you have right to freedom of movement and all, all of that has been taken away based on a post a post constitution, post independence. Post pre independence and pre constitution, colonial 1948 act. It has no jurisdiction over any Jamaican. It has jurisdiction over colonial colonials. But isn't it because of the intervening pandemic factor which is there? I mean, even the UK now. I mean, no, but then that is where the people are. You have to be careful. The, the pandemic yeah. does not make you lose your human rights and anything. Mm. The government has to find another way to deal with it and spend the money that you spend and buy all them all them Range Rover, Mr. Prime Minister. Sell yeah. the Range Rover them and go back to some Carol and use the Range Rover money and buy the requisite equipment for the people. So that you don't have to lock down everybody. Right. I, I, I see I see where you're coming from. What and I, and this is what I've been one of the discussions and going around a while is talking about the, the human rights and the rights of persons being infringed on based on this pandemic whereby People are just being shoved aside, lock up in your house, don't come out, 5G towers, no, just grow up and everything. Silver. Like yeah. Look what I'm missing now, my brother. There's a mm -hmm. video circulating on Facebook of a situation in Jamaica one night. A man is in his yard, on and around his veranda. And soldiers go in his yard and I tell him, go in his house. No, the soldier has a curfew. And the police, the curfew is for the streets, the government's gazetted road. Not the people's house. Yeah. The man is in his yard. Yes. So like we're for media right now. A one old acre. So you can tell me, say, if nine o'clock me people come out and go under one of the trees. Go burn a spliff or cut some sex with with, with, with I and I queen. Mm -hmm. A policeman can come over and at the property and tell me to go inside yes. on an entire acre property. Yeah. So that that's direct violation of the, the man's human rights. Because the, 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 the soldier has no jurisdiction on the man property. Mm. I can look on the man and ask the man if I'm a body man, if I'm not a girl. This is, this is where it comes down to a public servant who the mm. man's taxes provide, pay for. He's going to come back, the servant now comes back to the master and I'm going to say to the master, say, if you don't, don't have a woman, go inside, go lock up with the girl, you know, the girl, you're a body man. And that's what I say to the man. Okay, this is the soldier saying that to the citizen. So therefore, what he's saying is that he needs to go into his house, not in, not not in the confines of his property. Not it, thank you. Who defines that? Who said who? Oh. Uh, so there's several, and then the, the danger is the legal fraternity in Jamaica silence. Mm. 
Well, I, I, I think I think nothing is happening on that side there. I think everything is shut down from the court perspective in Jamaica. That's that's what I'm understanding. Um, it, it, so it, 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 court, you and I are doing this. Where's not? Where's the forum of the legal people addressing? Where's the Jamaicans for justice? Where, 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 where's the human rights group? It's almost that there's a there's a there's a there's a coercion and a conspiracy for all the responsible people to stay silent. Because what we are finding happening is that the majority of the people who are pro-government are saying, stay inside, are the people who come from nowhere, just get one little mortgage and feel like they them reach somewhere and, can, and get one car and up there. So they're seeking their position in the establishment. They do for, for, And so doing, they do not want to acknowledge any error or failure or inability of that very establishment that they're busily trying to swim upstream into. Yes. It's the wannabes, the aspirants. We are afraid. Give thanks to Queen Nana Nenge, who has made I and I very obviously aware mm. of the danger of those who we call aspirants. Yes. In, in, in regards to the mask bit there, I see a couple, a couple of persons say it depends on the mask you're wearing. I and my family use masks with valve. We breathe out and inhale without problem. R95 respirator is better. But somebody just commented there. Almost fainted in my mask, waiting in line to make an essential purchase. Because ninety percent of the people buy the regular cloth masks. This is the real. You see, those people are trying to. That's what I'm talking about. Those people who desperately try to um, defend the establishment's error. Forget that you can hold a mask. That's not even the mask that they told us to use. The mask that the establishment demonstrated was the mask that everybody is using, which in does um, proper oxygen intake. Yes. Yes. Yes, it doesn't have a valve. It doesn't have a valve, is it? <laughs> no. And and I hear that, and I hear that they're very expensive as well. So many people buying them, different styles, very very sure. expensive, and that uh, people are actually trying to struggle now, trying to get food now because of, I mean, the tourism situation has been shut down completely in Jamaica. People are actually suffering. People are not linked into the system. Here's the yeah. Here's the question we ask we ask Jamaicans and your listeners. Wherever in the world they are, the listeners in Britain, ask yourselves, my British brothers and sisters, if it is about our health, how is it they have locked down all mm. the small businesses, poor people with the shops and mommy and daddy shops and the family business that don't take much years I try to build as lockdown. But the government is still functioning. The government offices are still functioning. So how is it about our health? So it the tax office in Jamaica ram. Packer people, the government tax office. But well, they will tell you, say you can't, you can't open your shop, but you must pay. You can't open a shop to make money, but you must go and pay the taxes for it. If I'm to be um, along the line of querying and um, not talking about conspiracy, you say it's a plot. Them a plot against I and I. Is it a plot? Is it a they ain't plot? gonna get I. <laughs> so what's a plot? Them a plot against I and I. <laughs> yeah. Very that that's the, uh, the most appropriate song, Silver. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's it's a plot. I mean, many people. I mean, many people are looking at this whole thing and just. I mean, I, I'm I'm in the UK, and I think it was Friday. I drove out to pick up something. You know, you have to go about the business. I was finding it very surprising and interesting when they give those date of age age alphabetical order for people to go to the supermarket. I was saying that was crazy. They didn't do that. What is that? Me. That is fascism. <laughs> me live in Cuba and Cuba never that bad. <laughs> I, I would live and study in Cuba. My youngest daughter not has a born in Cuba. It was not yeah. that bad. That is I raw was, fascism. I was. Let I us was not forget. That. Yeah. Mm. Let us not forget that the symbol of the United States Congress is yes. a bundle of sticks. It's called a fasci. It is the international symbol of fascism. They give yes. you these codes as to what their intentions are. Go and look again at the Washington Monument. Where George Washington's hand is, that column, those columns are calling a two bundle of sticks with an axe. Yeah. That's it. it's a fasci. They're giving you plainly what they're about, and they're unraveling it to you right now, and you're pretending like it's not so. Yeah. Um. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, for those coming on Instagram as well, I'm with Daniel Borzer, and what we're talking about is a young lady recently. Just couple. Well, it was yesterday, Daniel. Yesterday she died. Yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday, um, was turned away from us hospitals, various hospitals in Jamaica, because she displayed COVID symptoms. She died, and I understand the child was was born, but the child died. I understand eventually after, but most importantly is that the results of the COVID test came out, 
and she was negative. So now people are very appalled and people are unhappy because it could be anybody. Nobody want to cough now. Nobody want to cough. Nobody want to sneeze. Nobody want to. Nobody wants to do anything for fear. And that's the right word that you mentioned earlier, Daniel. It's a fear factor. Fear factor which has gripped. And that fear sort of is manifesting in a way. And, you know, with the whole economy thing which has been shut down and with the whole not people having sunshine, people inhaling their own carbon dioxide, you're, you're, we're breeding more, more, health, more, more unhealthy people in the next three months, Daniel. <laughs> Nothing about this makes pro proper sense. Nothing <laughs> about it. Wow. It makes proper wow. sense. Wow. I just made that, that common sense deduction right there. I didn't, I didn't know what... I right, didn't just say it just makes some common sense deduction. Why? And in the middle I, of the conversation. It's like... <laughs> and, I, and I can't even spell the word doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Unbelievingly. Yeah. And we're like, yes, we're, we're gone past this. We have the benefit of our grandparents, our parents, lunch money. We should not be falling for this. Yes, yes. Because when they but, speak but, of conspiracy yes. theorists, the biggest danger is this talk of, here's the hypocrisy and the fear. Here's where the hypocrisy and the fear, the fear set in, or a combination of both. Yes. The, the, the term conspiracy theorist was coined in America after the people questioned the official government story about the killing of JFK. Mm. It has been proven that the official government story is a lie. So it's not a theory, it's a conspiracy fact. Mm. And we can name a multiplicity of so-called conspiracy theories that have all proven to have been so after time. Mm. After the damage has already been done. After the, And this is what the people are used to. Learning truth after the damage has already been done. They do not have the, um, I would have said testicular fortitude, but balls cannot take it. I would say ovarian fortitude or vaginal fortitude, but that's where I find the fortitude. Mm. The people are lacking in vaginal fortitude. So they cannot even think for themselves, even if it's plain in front of them. Mm. It's obvious. You have to wait until after 20 people dead or after the fact and 10 years later, documents released. And you're like, what did, remember when me and my cousin did argue, I tell him, say, mad, but he did right. What time did the damage done? And if you are to assess objectively, this is, said, this, can't, this is not far off from the other so-called conspiracies that we prove to be true. And it is following the same pattern. So what, so what, so in, in a few years, a lot will be unveiled. And, and, and by that time, maybe, maybe by that time, the world would have given up all its rights and we're under martial law globally. Yes. And the, the conspiracy theorists uh, will be vind will be what vindicated is that the right word will be vindicated but then the time that no but those people that have been the first ones that they killed god they don't want them to say nothing the, then if me if me i tell a lie to the world and a million people buy it i'm gonna find 20 man will pick up the truth and did i try to tell them i'll go for them first yes and i'm putting in a place a situation where they can't come find anybody at them yard no because you're there for lockdown you don't have to wonder where you're there mm. 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 It, it, it's very interesting, and and I and I really hope somehow that this lady and and it's very surprising. There's not a, like a legal mind coming out and start talking about um, justice for this lady, you know, like Rosie. Remember Rosie, the lady in the ghetto here said justice, justice, me said justice. So, and you know? I, I, that's what we're saying. Not even just for the lady, just for the very breach of the people's constitutional rights. Yes. We, we, we hear none of the constitutional lawyers saying anything. None. Even if the courts locked down, you and I are here making a difference in the little way that we can. You mm -hmm. know what it would mean if there, if there, if there, if there was a discussion like this about, about mm -hmm. the rights? It would have been spread if people are reposted, reposted, and we'd have all been edified. You're right. You're right. And as a result of that, I believe that I'm going to try to see if I can touch on to a couple of lawyers in Jamaica to see if there can be a discussion further because... If we don't stand up and speak up in these situations, persons like her death will come to naught. And many people will just have no confidence in the system, which shouldn't be the case. Can you imagine if it and becomes a regularity? Imagine yeah. now if it becomes a regularity. And you know what? That is you know the what danger that we face. Yeah. And you know the danger about it? Just as the figures, I understand in Jamaica is increasing gradually, 
whether it's by the call centers or whatever, because I've been getting all the information. The more it increases, the more it manifests fear because every day and every morning, the news come out and say, this amount of persons have COVID, this amount of persons have COVID. That in the UK, they have been saying to people, stop, stop, stop listening to the news every minute talking about the death. Stop, stop. Don't get yourself psyched up. They're saying- Why is it the only COVID deaths? There are other deaths. There are way more other deaths occurring. Why are we just being bombarded with COVID-19 deaths? Yes. When more people died, more people died in the UK yesterday from heart failure and cancer yes. and yes. diabetic complications. Mm -hmm. Way more than people who died from COVID-19. Yes. So they're saying it's all, the, the, the other deaths are, are okay. Yes. But this one is important. This minuscule percentage is important and you should worry about it. Mm. Don't worry about all the body eating habits and all the crazy. You see, if, the, if they were really concerned about their health, they would have they would have monitored the food industry a long time ago. This yeah. is the biggest gap. Any government that is truly concerned about the health of a people, its first step is to monitor the food process in now, the in the country. Now, isn't that very important now? And I and I shift back to a discussion which we had. When the first time I met you, when it comes to peer body order, I'm going to call you and say, Virgin, why come on from the show? But let's hold up on it. <laughs> cockpit country. Cockpit country. Cockpit country no, is so crucial it, now, isn't it? No, let us understand why I had to behave the way I had to then. No, man, we understand. We were, I'm at, I'm we, we were at total danger of losing everything we had. We would have yeah. killed the island. Yeah. Because here it is now. Let us say there is a global. Um, explosion and the world gets locked down and there's no food distribution. Yes. Jamaica yes. can, we, having not lived off exports, the only reason why Jamaica has so much export now is because the, the non-black yes. and, and black um, what do you call it? The merchant class are benefiting. Yes. It's been engineered to benefit the merchant class. Yes. But if that all of that goes, Jamaica can live for another thousand years without getting nothing outside of Jamaica. And 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 that is that is what is even so interesting now. Everybody is saying, eat a yard, grow a yard as much as possible. Because guess what? With China shut down and everything which is happening now, we have so no it, chance. We have no option. That's why I will remain the way I am. Because I say to people, nothing I have presented to this earth, I have given nothing to this world. All I have done is I have emulated success. I yeah. have articulated those who made sense. So what you all you hear me say is a collection of the understanding of others who made sense. Yes. Yes. No, that's 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 yes. so so tell me now, tell me now, in, in, in landing to a certain extent now, and, and government do not have all the answer. Let's 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 we've got to face that as a fact. I know it's good to listen to government, and I believe I believe it's right for persons to listen and to be guided. But in a bigger sense, how do you see the way out, especially with the food? Food now, because the hotels don't want nothing because there's no hotels working now. You know what I mean? So then all it means is that the people in Russia eat what they have. That's mm. all. You see, the thing is that what it will mean is that less of our food will go to waste. Mm. Less of the farmers' produce will go to waste. So instead, you see, instead of have, so like how you get up and go buy bread this morning. Yes. Them that for the roast to the sheet and some yam. Yes. But Bertrand, how many get the yam? <laughs> you need to come back. <laughs> you better come back at your yard. <laughs> come back at your yard. <laughs> <laughs> because how you got the yam? Are you going to get the breadfruit and all those? You have to leave things? your home. I, I don't know if you can understand the value of leaving your home to come back at your yard. Yeah. Yes, yes. Well, I, I I know that we have to have a drink. Even that's the only reason why we're gonna have a drink up in cockpit country because I'm due for a visit there, you know. But but on a serious note, just like what Hardly John Reed is saying here, a couple of comments. Man, they told him years ago, eat what you grow. The news. So then, and the only reason why we never went that way it was the merchant class in Jamaica, the Syrians, yes. the Jews, the white people, the people who the most dangerous are organization on this island this is called the jamaica chamber of commerce mm. it is a slavery institution well, the oldest on the island next to the masonic lodge and on the island it, its only purpose is to guarantee its members who the jamaica jamaica chamber of commerce 
started while every black man on the island was commerce. Yes. Mm. Trade in you was the commerce of the Jamaica Chamber of Commerce. Yes, and it yes. is continued that way that all the directives of the governments successive have been to the benefit of the Jamaica Chamber of Commerce. So when Michael Manley said, grow where you eat, all them big house there, where, where the merchant class have, how would the farm of them have it? Because they would have made that money on food. Pringles would not sell yeah. uh, Oreos. And all of these things in plastic packages would not have been sold as much as... Mm. Our, 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 our snacks when we were growing up was Buster and, and Gizada and yes. coconut, coconut, peanut, sweetie. If me eat too much of my snack, I don't need no dinner, I'm still healthy. Yes. Right. <laughs> well, <coughs> well, um, Bergen, it's it's a sad story, um, but at the same time, it highlights the reality. Someone I see posted, uh, who more racist and classist than black people? They were trained to dislike themselves. Of course, they're referring to the hospital. Um, no, people... He's right. They were trained to, and they need to untrain that. It's not, they're still victims yes. of their own victimization. Yes. People are saying, I'll never go back to Andrews Memorial Hospital. You should boycott, boycott them, justice for Jordan. So therefore, there's a movement which has been started now with justice for Jordan. Justice for Jordan. Look, yes. here's what's dangerous about it. This is supposed to be a Christian institution. Yes. That is what's dangerous about it, Silburn. Silburn, where was the where was the, where was all of a sudden all the beatitudes of Christ was thrown under the carpet? That's so very interesting. That's so very interesting because in years of time ago, when persons who are in this medical fraternity, they don't think no, they take no thought of themselves. That is why even in the war, you got medics there, right? Right on the battlefield as a medic, they run in straight. You always wonder how you ever wonder how medics always find themselves on the battlefield, like in Iraq and all those places. They always go there in the middle of the battle. The of, is it is it because of the the training and the etiquette and the the oath? So therefore, the whole oath thing means nothing now because hey, if I don't have a PPE, no disrespect, me not touch him. Yes. Well, eventually, what you should be doing is giving your life. I I think. Okay, listen, I support PPE, but what I'm picking up at the same time is that person are picking and choosing how they operate within the profession that they have chosen, of their choice. You know? And, and, and remember, that could be... Uh, all of us went to school. The, we we yes. should have been prepared for this, you know? We should not have mm. bought into the illusion. Because one of the things that we must remember, th there is a book called The Pearl that we all did in literature. It detailed to us the character yeah. of most medical practitioners. Yes. Remember the pearl. This is our first mm. introduction, subtly, to the nature and the, of the character of most medical practitioners. Exploit, extricate, and appropriate. Yes. Yes. And these are realities we have to come to terms with and be honest about. We have to be honest yeah. that most of our... It's almost like we have this fantasy of expecting morality from them. But let us be honest, okay? Let mm -hmm. us go through the entire education system. Primary school, no lessons in morality. High school, no lessons or training in morality. University, neither. Yeah. So where and how and why do we expect it when it was not imparted? Yes, yes, yes. So therefore, That's a fantasy. Um, in, yeah, so, so so therefore now in, in wrapping up, and uh, we're going to keep the momentum on this, um, uh, I, I jumped on it right away at the initial stage because it is so important what happened to this young lady, and I can imagine it, I, and I can feel it. It's like I'm taking my wife to the hospital when my children are being born, and then going there, and they actually say, no, you can't go there. Mm -hmm. you, rush, you rush trying to find another mm -hmm. hospital. And you rush around trying to find an hospital when you reach at that complication. And then I saw something where they said when a woman is um, at that point, she goes through all these different symptoms as well. So these persons were the professionals there. All these there. different symptoms. Yes, 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 yes. It, it, this it, is it, where it is it's sad. It's blatant. The fear mongering. No, this is where the fear mongering and its effects become obvious because none of these people 
displayed any professional acumen. Mm. Mm. I'm a trained soldier. I, so I know I can be shot. But I know if I hold my head down, keep my shoulders on, you know, it reduces the likelihood. So there's a certain standards and professional acumen that you're supposed to be trained to. Okay, she may have COVID-19. If that's the case, yeah. this is the protocol that we operate under. But we're still going to look after her. We don't ask her to leave mm. the hospital. Yes. I've been reading so many things about the, the hospital there. Of course, that is just because the, the this negative aspect. People are there about to be treated and they're asking them for money at the same time. The person said they felt like they're going to present their card. They felt like they are going to throw them out on the road at the same time. No, they would. They, yeah. No, they would. You don't understand. As a seven-day yeah. institution, they would. Because mm. we must remember and stop being pretending. All of our doctors yeah. are not doctors because they necessarily wanted to do good or help. Mm. It's because it's the highest profession and it carries a, 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 a prestige. More from there were young people. Anybody who went to high school with any doctor, remember. Yeah. The most given the the, 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 the the prime reason is because it pays mm. and if you started to pay garbage cleaners what you pay medical doctors hospital mm. empty well well somebody sort of I, I grab i'm looking at different pages and this person said i don't understand as a pregnant mother will have various symptoms as everyone's body is made up different so i would want to know if person should not cough anymore as we just discussed have a short of breath and flu like symptoms without having COVID 19. The person said, I'll go on to say a, a cough. Yeah. Well, oh, the person said, I'll go on to say a pregnant case have to be different in all ways, and she should consider her safe and stay home, as her doctor said, cruel set of people. But the person said, The Bible do warn us still that in these days, the heart of men will become desperate, and wicked, and they will have no form of compassion towards each other. You say something, I'm going to say what you're going to say, and I'm going to pick up on that point about what I what I analyze about this world, social distancing as well. Go on. No, well, you see, it is almost like we're being engineered. We're being socially yeah. engineered mm. to disassociate from our, from from the other. Yes. We're being socially yeah. engineered through yes. fear to not care about the other. Yes. And just at a point when we were actually, we're actually starting to read more learning more about the unity of all of us. We're actually at a point where if we, if we, if we continued on the trajectory, we could see ourselves yeah. eventually becoming the greatness that is within us. Yes. Because our children are by far... And then all of a sudden, we just dropped it. Just on yes. this fear. Yes. Now, it, it is serious because someone will say that we should call it in physical distances because it's like, okay, you're walking on the road now. <laughs> this is in the UK. I don't know if it's, it's so far in Jamaica. You walk in the road now. People walk out of the way from experience. You walk out of this. This is like this is like in the early days of the UK, and it still happened. You know, a black man walking on the street or so like that, and then a white person will just go across the road. This is what is happening now. People are just like staying away. I had a friend today, and I went. I'm gonna post the video. So <laughs> it's funny. Um, his birthday today, so I just drove by him and just say, listen. Let me just drive by my house and blow my horn and say, and the virgin, my virgin just come out. <laughs> he might be unlistening. He's even listening. That virgin come out with a, with a, like a, a mafia, you know? <laughs> you know I'm with because, no, he's right. He's right. But the whole aspect of it is that nobody is engaging. And, and somehow in the UK, something which has been happening, and I've seen it, whereby persons are subtly, subtly taking action into their own hands and, and, linking with people somehow it's like something is happening at the same time because brethren let's put our hands up no matter how we isolate brethren no matter how we isolate we, man, I forget we need each forget. other <laughs> we need each other yeah 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 we need the sunshine yes the mask and everything i mean i mean somebody said they put on a bandana you know all these different things but listen we have to take this another time but i just wanted to start get the conversation going on something which is not just because it is topical but because it is heart tearing heart come on yeah justice for jordian justice for jordian and i'm on board with this one justice for jordian as much as possible i don't jump on most of these things all the while but i'm but this one particularly because it's it it is like the 
epitome of injustice. Blatant Had she not paid the hospital? I, Had she not prepaid the hospital? Then we could have probably said, our poor people, fine. But you can't even say that you prepaid yeah. the hospital. So it's doing object fear, total loss of objectivity and, and concern yeah. and care for each other. It's, wow, <laughs> wow, wow. Virgin. I bet I should never did pay them. So we could have said, okay, boy, the poor people, they're going to get poor. And we could have had another alternative. Yeah, 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 yeah. And before I go, before I go, before I go, I just drop this one in, sneak it one in, 5G, in a nutshell. <laughs> uh, 60 gigahertz millimeter waves. The research from the very companies are there to show what it does. Mm. It causes... 60, 60, 60 gigahertz millimeter waves causes the, um, the electrons in the oxygen molecule of O2. You see, we mm. breathe in O2, and then these two oxygen, these two oxygen um, um, atoms come together, and end up sharing electrons. Yes. And as we can show you that, for example, the two point four, um, the two point four gigahertz microwave standard globally, it causes it causes the, 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 the atoms in water to move fast, and that's why it heats up, right? Mm. And it does the same thing to the atoms in food. So there you have this blatant evidence scientifically of frequency creating vibrational reaction in matter. Mm. So, and that's 2.4 gigahertz microwaves. 60 gigahertz millimeter waves causes the electrons... The shared electrons in the oxygen atom, oxygen molecule, to oscillate. Once they start to oscillate, then it changes the nature of the oxygen. When you breathe in that oxygen, the hemoglobin in your blood is incapable of uptaking that oxygen to deliver it to your body. Hence, respiratory distress. Wow. Okay. This is science. This is not guess and spell. Yeah. So, so, um, as each time the earth is introduced or not, there's a book that everybody should get. It's called um, The Invisible Rainbow. Mm. It details the pandemics and the sicknesses that have broken out on this earth. Every time the earth went to another electrical and our electromagnetical frequency and was exposed to, to it. So what we found first is that the Spanish flu, 1918, began with the introduction of radio waves around the globe. The Spanish flu broke out at an army base in Ohio, which was that very base that they were, they were doing the primary experiments mm -hmm. on radio transmission. I don't know how you get the name Spanish flu when it broke out in America and Ohio. So mm -hmm. that is why it went around the world, because during the time of the Spanish flu, a horse and buggy brethren, it took much of, uh, too much months for a ship reach anywhere. The, the rate of contagion could not have been based on any other, because the people weren't even traveling as much. In wow. 1918, it was because radio waves, everybody had antennas, every country was into this new yeah. technology. The, 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 um, the Hong Kong flu was when they put the satellites up that were <coughs> beaming down radiation, electromagnetic waves on the people of the Earth. It, it, the, the change in the biology manifested itself as what they call the Hong Kong flu. Right. Okay. Oh, the book is called, his name is Arthur Furstenstein. Yes. The book is called The Invisible Rainbow. It Invisible details Rainbow. this. This is, not a, this is not a conspiracy theory. These are science facts. Yes. The Invisible Rainbow. Arthur Furstenstein. Or something like that. But you to type it up. Google it. It's going to pop up. Yes, they, yes. They have made the book unavailable. My elder saw me the other day and says, when well, he heard me talk about it, and he says, luckily he had one very early, years ago, he had one. Somebody introduced it to it. And the man said, the book is unavailable. They might make it unavailable. Right, right, right. Well, listen, Daniel, listen, thank you so much for this and, and keep doing the work and stuff like that and keep giving those jokes. Which was the, which was the one which keep I doing found... Keep your work. <laughs> which was the one that I found very interesting. No, it wasn't the two dogs. And there was another one. I forget what it is. There's so much of them. <laughs> I'm a mix up. No, I'm forever a child. I must not lose that aspect of myself. Listen, listen man. I, I, listen. Lockdown or no lockdown, I just, I say to people all the while, I, I like to enjoy myself in whatever I do. 
and I don't take myself too serious. I just enjoy life. Don't take myself too serious. I just enjoy <laughs> life, Bertrand. And I believe at this time, what people need to do, enjoy life. Don't take it too serious. But at the same time, we want justice for Jodie. We want justice, we want justice for Jodie. Yeah. Just, justice for Jodie. Bertrand, bless you. We link again. Respect. Keep us keep each other on the radar. <laughs> All right, my brother. Always. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Cheers. Yes, Silver. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you so much for that. Um, and thank you so much for Daniel for really giving that sort of um, exposure and giving his views. I believe it's very important to listen to every different voices at this time. And, uh, you know, it, it's very sad. It's very sad what has happened to that um, young lady. Uh, persons, if, if, you, if you don't know about this young lady, um, a very sad story. And it's not just a story, it's uh, a true it's non-fiction, not fiction, you know? And this is what it is. UA University Hospital West Indian refused Jodie and this lady, and the doctor took her to St. Andrews another hospital. The nurses at St. Andrews were convinced that she had COVID-19 based on her symptoms, and she had removed from their facility because some 20 newborn were on the ward as well as new mothers. The nurses on the voice notes, which someone heard, I'm just getting out Janice Silvia page here, we're not pleased that doctors have so much power. They sounded quite bitter. Andrews is not prepared to accept people with a with COVID-19, so the blame has gone right back to you. But the point of the situation is that she died. Uh, the baby was born, and I understand that the baby has died. Now, that's what I'm hearing. You know, I put a disclaimer with everything because this is what is happening. And people are talking about justice for Jodian. And this could happen to anyone as well. Anyone, your family, your friends, um, your uncle, you know, not just ladies. Uh, and the fact, and the part which is very concerning is, is the fact that she actually, and this is a, she had paid down already at, I'm not sure which of the hospitals, you know, when a lady's pregnant and uh, you link with a particular hospital with a doctor, you know, this is where you're going to go. You know, my children are going to born. We know that it was where we had the pre birth um, things, exercise, go down to Lewisham Hospital. So that was where we were. And we know that whenever the baby's going to come, Bam, Lewisham Hospital. So this lady was actually following through the process and the system failed her, the hospital failed her, the Ministry of Health failed her, and we can say Jamaica failed her. And as a result of that, as a Jamaican overseas and neighbor string tied to Jamaica, I believe it's very important that there should be justice for this lady and someone need to be paid to pay and heads need to roll. When a person go to hospital, COVID or no COVID, you are supposed to take care of someone. That is your oath, you know. Um, in lawyers, sometimes they say your oath is to defend and to represent. Even if the person is guilty, even the person did the thing, they have a right to representation. A person who is sick have a right to go to hospital for health care. And just because of COVID, that doesn't make them immune from such, or uh, what should I say, having this level of care, right? And, and, and the worst thing about it is the fact that while they were saying no to her and sending her because of the symptoms, so-called symptoms of COVID-19, what happened? The results have come back now, I understand. And as I said, I've got to use this. I understand, of course, it's all over the place. And it's negative, totally negative. That's totally injustice, ladies and gentlemen. And I also demand justice for this lady, even though she's passed away for her family at this time. It's a sad case. And um, COVID-19 is killing people, left, right and center. Some are not part of COVID, but they're signing to COVID. But we don't want people to die unnecessarily based on fear by persons who are, who are fearing that as well. That is not um, acceptable and that should not be. So listen, I'm going to wrap up now. You have a good weekend. Have a good night in Jamaica and the rest of the world. And uh, of course, look out for the upcoming shows. Wednesday with Nicole Millington and then Friday with Aaron Branch and... Uh, on Saturday, I've got my good anchor from a uh, TV station in Canada. And uh, 
I'm hoping to get Chris Tufton um, working on that. It'll be very pregnant at this time, maybe under pressure as well. But yeah, take care of yourself. Do wear the mask. Um, but as but as 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 was just reading about the mask is that, and some persons are saying that with the with the mask, they're talking about our uh, unhealthy is to keep inhaling your carbon dioxide. But of course, I'll have to get a breakdown. I think what I, what I'm gonna do, and this is what I'm gonna do. I want to I want to do a show, and this show is going to be on um, the mask. So therefore, get a couple of persons who are creating masks. For everyone from Jamaica, one from USA, one from Canada, and they get a medical person as well to talk about mass. I, I want to get some value, add some value to our thinking as much as possible. So I'll just be a platform and uh, to in order to bring these entities together. All right, so have a good weekend, have a good night, and thank you very much. And uh, may God bless you and keep you, may his face shine upon you and give you peace, and most importantly. Subscribe to my show, go on to YouTube, Silver and TV. This will be uploaded. And also like my page as well. And uh, have social interaction. Not social, but have physical distancing. Social interaction, not social distancing. Don't get too caught up too much on the news and the, the different blow by blow of how many deaths. I mean, the UK, what they're telling us every morning, how many people die, how many people down. They're not telling us how many people um, is getting better uh, or being released. You've got some one or two cases. Um, they're not telling us in the UK how many people have coronavirus or COVID-19. Because no, not, most of the people are not being tested. And to make it a figure which is there, I believe that figure is much more, even double, if anything like that. Okay? But always, peace, peace out. Bye-bye. Cheers. Instagram, thank you very much as well. Okay? Bye-bye. So.